In this video, we're going to find the cross product of two vectors, and we're going to use two different methods to do this. The first method is the way I like to do it, and I'm not sure where I learned this method, but I like it because you, you don't have to memorize anything, and it's intuitive. The second method we're going to use is the standard determinate definition of the cross product. Okay, so let's start with the method that I like to use. So we've got two vectors, V1 and V2. We want to find V1 cross V2. So V1 cross V2. What you do is you write out the two vectors like, you, like, like you're going to multiply two polynomials. So here's V1 and then cross. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to distribute just like we're multiplying two polynomials. So we're going we're gonna to do 4i hat cross minus 5i hat plus 4i hat cross positive 1j hat plus 4i hat cross minus 11k hat plus minus 7j hat cross minus 5i hat and, and so on. And so you see, you don't have to memorize anything. You just write out the vectors like you're doing a normal multiplication and, and distribute. Okay, so we start with 4i hat cross minus 5i hat. What does this mean? How do we do this? Well, when you think about the formula for the cross product, it's the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the sine of the angle between the vectors. So anytime you have, if we're doing like a I hat cross I hat or, or like a positive I hat cross minus I hat, positive J hat cross positive J hat, any, any time where we have the same unit vector being crossed with, with itself, the sine of the angle is going to be zero. So four I hat cross minus five I hat is zero. Now four I hat cross positive one J hat. And, and what you can notice here now is we're, we're either going to be crossing the same unit vector with the same unit vector and getting zero, or we're going to be crossing two different unit vectors, which are perpendicular to each other, right? Now, sine of 90 is one, but you could also have a case where you have like a unit vector in a negative direction crossed with a, another unit vector in a positive direction. So the angle between them is, as far as direction angles, is 270. But the sine of the angle is either going to evaluate to one or negative one. So this is what we do. So we want to cross four, four I hat with, with one J hat. Put the magnitude of the vectors, 4 and 1. So these, it's just a coincidence that these two happen to be positive. But even if they were negative, you just put the magnitudes, the positive. Okay? Now, the, the cross product is a vector product. So we're going to be getting a, we, we need to put a vector here, like a unit vector here. What unit vector do we put here? Well, this is what we do. So you take, take your right hand and so put it in the, in the, uh, the four I hat direction, or you can just, just say I hat, put it in the, the positive I hat direction. Okay. Now have the palm of the right hand along the I hat direction with the curl of the fingers facing the positive J hat direction, because that's what we're crossing it with. So now push the positive I hat to the positive J hat. And where's the thumb facing positive K hat. So put positive K hat. And that's how you do it. And so we're going to do this for, we're going to do the full distribution here. So next is 4i hat crossed with minus 11k hat. Put 4, put 11, just put the magnitudes. Okay, now what do we put here? You, you put your hand along the positive i hat direction with the curl of the fingers facing minus k hat. You see? Curl of the fingers facing minus k hat k hat the, the z direction is into and out of the page so push positive i hat to minus k hat the thumb is facing positive j hat okay now now we do minus 7 j hat with cross minus 5 i hat so put 7 put 5 and just cross minus j with minus i so minus j Put your right hand in the minus J direction with the curl of the fingers facing minus I. 
Push minus J to minus I. The thumb is facing minus K. So minus K, so put, put a minus here. Right, put a minus out front. Okay. Now, minus 7J cross positive 1J, that's zero. Minus 7J cross minus 11K. 7, 11. Okay, now, minus J with the curl of the fingers in the direction of minus K. Push minus J to minus K. That's positive I. Okay, 2K cross minus 5I. Put your hand in the direction of positive K with the, with the curl of the fingers facing minus I. Push positive K to minus I, and now we're facing minus J. Okay, 2K cross J. Positive K. Curl the fingers facing, facing positive J. Push positive K to positive J minus I. And then 2K cross 11, minus 11K, that's zero. And, and there we go. So now let's just simplify and then combine like terms. So 4K plus... Okay, and we've got, so 77i minus 2i is 75i, 44j minus 10j, and then 4k minus 35k. And there you go, that's V1 cross V2. All right, now let's use the determinant method. So A cross B is this determinant here. So if we write this out, V1 cross V2. So we've got I hat, J hat, K hat, and then, so you see like AX, AY, AZ, BX, BY, BZ, just write write the components like so this is v1 so 4 minus 7 2 and now here's v2 this is b so minus 5 1 minus 11 and now you just take this determinant so to, to take a determinant we we start with so we're in we're going across row this row one here so Starting with this, this term here, we kind of cross those out and we take this two by two determinant and multiply that times I hat. So minus seven times minus 11 is 77 minus two times one I hat. All right, then you put minus here and you just have to memorize to put a minus here. And now we come to J hat. So we cross, we we cross that out and we take this two by two determinant. So four times minus 11 is minus 44, minus, minus five times two, so it's gonna be plus 10. And now you put a plus here. There's a minus here and a plus here. Okay, we come to K hat, so we cross these two out and we, we take this two by two determinant. So four times one is four minus Minus 7 times minus 5, so minus 35. K hat. So 75 I hat. And this is minus 44 plus 10, which is minus 34. So there's a minus here, so we get... And then minus 34 or 31 K hat. All right, and that's, if we look here, that's... Uh, that's that's the same thing we got using the first method. Now that was pretty quick, but I will say that the the first method 
it, it, it goes quickly once you, once you know what you're doing. But I just think it's more intuitive. It's more you kind of understand the intuition behind the cross product better. I, I don't know. I feel like I, I, I end up forgetting this quickly, but you easily remember doing it kind of manually like we did in the, with the first method. So whatever way works for you is, is fine. You get the right answer using either method.